Hi my friends! I am happy to present you the new update for Simply Close Studio version 1.5 or Blender 4.4.3 and higher. We have here improved UI, better performance during the close simulation, several bug fixes and the main feature update here is the tiering function which is developed by Omid Godby who is known for Tangra FX and many many other cool stuff. So, we have this collaboration, who's, which is allow, allow me to give the light version of the simply tiering function here inside of Simply Close Studio. But anyway, I recommend to get the standalone version of Simply Tier, which is much more faster and precise than this adaptation of Simply Tier inside Simply Close Studio. So let's start with the UI. So if we go to the start section, we already see the main buttons we know already. There's not that much changes, but the UI functions of the workflow section is changed. We have different modes like start, adjust, design, enhance, and the last finish. You will see in the start section the convert to simply cloth button, which will convert any object mesh object into a cloth, simply cloth object. We have this character selected now and we add this collision, just this. If we don't have any base character, we just can add the dummy. I will show you this here. I will add a dummy. It looks like this. We can, we can select it and play with the character itself. We can make it pose to A pose or the pose to T pose like this. So depending what you need. And you can have a slider which is converting the dummy into a male or a female. So this is kind of cool if you don't have any base character. So put it here back. I will check it. It's in the center or something around here. So, if we have a base character like this, it's already in a coll collision. And if we just want to make sure we are finished with the starting point, we don't need to adjust because we don't have any cloth object here at the moment. We go into the, the design section and we can create from here on the design cloth with cut and sew pattern. We can try it very easy. We go over here. Um, I will turn on the screencast key so you will see what I click. I'm using the old method of selection with the right click. So if I click it's left click, extrude for E. I go every time to the mid here. So it is correct mirrored. And from here we can start working. I make a shirt, for example, very easy, nothing special. I can make it to curves, so I have more control over the shape, like this. We put over here something like that. And we make it like this, for example. Here I play with the resolution, I like the 33 value and I want a unitard object so it will be extruded to the, to the back and that's it we can see from here it was created but we need now to remove some of the holes we go into the edit mode paste selection and select one part and hit L for the holes which should be removed oh man something is wrong with my camera Yes, now it's correct, I hope. Um, so like this, now we are correct. I hit L, 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 just hover with the mouse. And now, if you're back inside of Simply Close Studio, in the edit mode, you will find in the sewing section, the unit art zoo. And that's it, you're finished. 
we designed very fast the cloth for testing purposes and we can check it out now i convert it to simply cloth and hit play oh it's a bit too slow um, in the sewing section so we play with the collision distance we take it to the zero zero one put it a bit higher perhaps we can make it a little smaller like this oh. and play yes 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 it's a bit too slow in the sewing a bit higher something like that now we have a really nice shirt created in a few seconds perhaps minutes if we have something like that because this is the same mesh like in the front we need to make some adjustments we go in the edit mode we have the new section inset of the edit mode 2 so edit and sew adjust and pin and the adjustment is the the main functions for the shrink paint inflate strengthen the selection and bending and so on in the edit and sew we have the edit topology um, triangulation and the sewing part for many other functions but for now we want to make sure the selection around here like we simulate a, something like a sew here in the back go into the adjust and pin and hit shrink that's it so if you play again here we have the goals but now we can play with the vertex shrink here and put it here so it will simulate like something like a small uh, sewing here but it's not perfect anyway it's the limitation of blender's cloth solver and yes so we have already fast created clothes here with a lower uh, quality um, value we can put it higher but um, it will not make that much uh, difference at the moment so if you have a little bit of juggling uh, here around you see this is not correct you can give more quality and all that stuff play around if i go shrink down a little bit you see we have don't activate self collision so really depends on what what you need and here the topology is triangulated so you have kind of this topology here so the other point will be we go in the design section and now we want to give some tearings here so we go to the zero or one frame now we just go over to preset like regular cut adaptive polygons if needed for now we don't use it and draw tearing line so we can now tear the cloth just draw some tears here and there and hit finish and you're done this is the main function in this update for tearing so it's really cool we have created very fast tearing here of course it's depending on the on the resolution of the, the topology of the mesh but you can see already nice results here so what will be if we make like the regular with the adaptive polygons so we should get more and higher quality in the area of the cuts so let's try make something like that then you will see the main difference i will show you in the wireframe mode too so it really depends on the quality um, the topology of your mesh but if we go over and check out the wireframe you will see in this area we don't have the adaptive subdivision 
but in this area we have it. So it will create high realistic um, tearings here and there around the cut. So it really depends on what you need. Here you see it better. Yeah. So if I go again here and make a cut, it will again subdivide this part. So let's try this and you will see I will make here, I will make here a cut. Okay, and there you will see here is now more dense topology. You see this? And here it took around the others and make this again high resolution. So if we make a new simulation now, we go over to different modes, we will notice higher tiering results in these sections here. This is like the lowest without adaptation, uh, adaptive polygon subdivi subdivision and here with and the same here. We can create much more realistic effects. And that's it already. So I missed to push up the vertex, shrink here, so I make it a little higher. It will tighten up here. And look at these results. It's amazing. Thanks to Omid Gotbi who created this algorithm for tiering. So he developed it fully by himself. And this is so amazing. So we can make very fast clothing and give them more interesting results. So we can check it like this. We have something like a table, add collision, go over to the mesh, go in edit mode. Here I have the Kushiro triangulation. Play with the dance. That's okay. Perhaps a little bit less, like 0 0.5 more. You run. This is enough. Convert it to simply cloth. Select self collision and play. It's so fast. We can subdivide it if we want. So a really interesting um, holding. Just few clicks and we have so cool results. So now we go over to the design section again. Make now perhaps a sharper or a rough cut. We go over here. Make something like this. Just freaking out a little bit here, there. And a big, bigger one here, bigger one there. And big one here. Finishing. Now we have more resolution, more topology. Inside here, adaptive polygons activated. And now let's check out the result. Just hit play. You already see this update is so cool. This is so beautiful. We have here a high resolution object, which is making the close simulation in a good speed in a better speed, in a higher quality of the cloth. So just look at this. Ah, of course, we have the separated parts. But look at this. How nice this is. Very nice. Um, so if we select the cube, it will be much easier. And this is the new update. I hope you like it. So better improvement inside of the UI and a new function for tiering and all other parts are already working. And yes, what to say more than thank you for the already support you give me all the years. I hope you understand. I cannot make much more free updates or simply close studio. So the next will be complete bigger, bigger steps, bigger improvements and a new option to, to get the updates. It will be 
available soon. So let's try the last point, enhance. If we put on enhancement here, you already know, and you can use all this, the points, but the important stuff for me here is the wrinkles. I like the wrinkle stuff. So we can give it a little bit of detail push, a little bit. It really depends on the, um, of the topology, of course. Here we have a triangulated, which can create here and there like small shading issues in this case, but we can anyway go to the start point and smoothen out if needed, but it's not every time the help for it. So if you have a quad based topology, it will be much easier and cleaner results for some for some meshes. So we have now this and we can play with the intensity, of course, the scale of the wrinkles what will be created around. Yes, so little bit, little bit like this play with the ramp where it should be only created the wrinkles and which direction. So you can play a little around here, see, and give it a bit more details, but this is too much. This is not working here. I'm sorry. So we we'll leave it like this and we have already the, the bounding edges. So what we can go over here to add more mm, where we can find a good point. I think it was okay here. We can add this function add bounding box, uh, bounding edges. And again, here we can play with the, with the tears. So we can give it additional detail here. Yeah, it's not perfect, but for this type of, um, it should work very good. So we can play with the blur, but we don't need it. It will be destroy more In the offset. You see here, depending on the gravity, we can offset the tearings to give a bit of more details here, but not every time it's okay. So this is the main, this is the width, the bounding edges. So it depends on you. So if we don't want to have this tearing and bounding, we just remove the enhancement and work with the cloth anyway. So I hope you like it. It's very less now. You are faster now. You can activate and deactivate the cloth here. You don't need to go over here again. You can, but you don't need. You have this cloth card here played with the back settings, overlay settings for, for the face orientation, of course, uh, wireframe here, face orientation, you will see already where the object is in the face orientation, cloth properties, if you have thickness on, it gives a bit, uh, give it a solidify modifier. And of course, this I will do at the last step because of the uh, performance. So if we see this, I can make a 001 or 005 to give him the last thickness here. Yeah. So have much fun and please support us and get the Simply Tier standalone add-on. And this will help me to improve the Simply Close Studio in the next way too. So stay tuned. I wish you the best and only the best. Bye.